Hey guys, you're Marty Geek. In this video, I have a hands on look of the latest NVIDIA GeForce Now software for Macs. Um, this, what it is, it turns your Mac into a virtual GeForce gaming PC. Um, basically, it lets you play games from Steam, or I think it's, uh, there's another service that actually lets you play games from. And it lets you play them on the Macs. Um, even though those games are actually for PC, it actually lets you play those games on the Macs. And I'm going to show you guys how it actually works. Uh, right now, for example, I'm going to leave a link for this website so you can go ahead and download it. All you got to do is click download and it'll download right away. If you want to see if your computer is actually compatible with this device, it's really, it, it will. Most likely, it will be compatible. All it requires is 10.10 .10 or above when it comes to Mac OS 10. Uh, internet requirements only requires 25 megabits uh, per second. Internet download speed uh, recommended is 50 download. I Right now I have, I think, 60 download. Uh, you will need hardwire Ethernet or five gigahertz wireless router. Right now I am using a dongle with my PC, with my MacBook. I'm gonna show you guys right here, like you see. I'm using this dongle right here because I'm using a 2012 MacBook Pro uh, retina display computer and this model didn't come with the ethernet port so i'm using uh the dongle so most likely if you have even a newer one most likely you're gonna have to buy a dongle which kind of sucks but um that's what it is um if if you don't have a dongle but you do have a, a router which is dual band and it actually has the 5.0 gigahertz i think you're good you're good to go i rather use the cable because for me cable is faster um you also need let's see let's see let's see uh the, this is a list of all the max and models that it is actually compatible with like for example macbook air 2015 model it is compatible uh there is like 28 let me see let, there is like 2008, look, MacBook 2008 model. That's insane. That's almost like nine years ago, right? Uh, you can also use mice or keyboard, but right now I'm going to be using the gamepad, which is the PlayStation 4 DualShock controller. Um, like, see here, it is actually on the list. It says gamepad, Sony DualShock 4 uh, with wired or Bluetooth. You got these Logitech uh, controllers as well. It is not compatible with the Xbox 360 controller right now, but it will most likely later on. If you actually found a way on how to use Xbox 360 controllers on your MacBook, so most likely it will work for you as well. So right now, once you download it, right? This is the application right now. Let me go ahead and close it. I'm gonna open it again. This is the NVIDIA GeForce Now. And right now, these are all the games that you can actually play while using the GeForce Now. This is basically all the games that are compatible with GeForce Now. And like you see on the list, there's a whole bunch of very popular and new games as well. Because you got games like Resident Evil 7. You got games like uh, look, Hellblade, Shadow of War that just came out this week. Uh, there's a whole bunch of great games that are basically compatible. Doom, you know, Wolfenstein, you name it. There's a whole bunch of games. Um, here you have my library. Right now it says it en it's empty because I haven't played a game that it's actually compatible there, but uh, that's not on this list. But um, if you do, it will be actually here on this list. Uh, you also have Cuphead. Look at that. You also have Cuphead available there, Evil Within 2, and so on, so on. Uh, right now, what you need to do is also link your Steam account. Once you link your Steam account, you will be able to play all the games you have on Steam on your Mac. Here, you can also test your network. So right there, if you have it connected already via 5 gigahertz, or via the Ethernet cable, you can go ahead and do the test and it'll actually let you know if you're good to go or not. Let's go ahead and wait for the results to finish. Okay, so there it is. These are the results right there. There you go, zoom in a little bit there. Your network, autumnal stream, uh, right now 50 and 28 latency, which is not bad. Required is 24, 10, and 150, and recommended is 50, 1, and 60. So that means I'm pretty good right there, and I'm just using the wired. That's why I rather use wired. But that's it. Let's go ahead and launch Steam, right? I already linked Steam to my GeForce account. So automatically it's going to launch Steam. The cool thing here is that if you open Steam on its own without using GeForce, 
um, you will see a, all the games, right? You'll see all the games that you have. And most of the games that are only for Windows PC, you're going to see that on here on the list that they're not going to be playable. You, you can't be do you downloading them. You can't download them. You can't play them at all. But right now, let's go and wait for this to load up. There you go. Now I load it up. And here in this video, I actually wanted to play a game for you guys, which is a hat in time. I got a code for that. And I never get got to try it out because I don't have a Windows PC. So like you see here, now when we go down through all my list of the games that I have on my library, I can actually install them. Like you see there, I can actually install every single game. Before, like I showed you before, there's a lot of games that we wouldn't show you the install button. But right now, let's go ahead and play this one, a hat in time. Right, it's gonna go ahead and say it's gonna install. It's gonna take around one minute. Go on. Uh, now, this is the only negative thing so far. The games that are not on the list that you saw there on GeForce page or on the GeForce software, it says right here this game is currently not supported by GeForce Now. You may be able to install and play it. However, you may have to reinstall the game each time you play. And your saved games on, will only sync if Steam Cloud is enabled. So that's the only negative thing that I'm facing with this game that I want to play it. I can play it. But the thing is that every time I quit Steam, every time I quit Steam using the GeForce Now, um, I'm going to have to reinstall the game again. Luckily, this game is not huge. Luckily, the game will install really, really fast. Okay, so the game already installed. Let's go and hit here, play. And it's going to go ahead and load up the game. Just like it would on any Windows PC, which is awesome. There you go. And that's it. So right now, if I go, you know, I swipe here, right? I got this full screen. And I also can go back to the NVIDIA GeForce Now. And that's the reason why the game will not be... You would have to install the game over and over again. Because it's not on this list. If it's on this list, you won't have to install the game over and over again. It will just appear here. And that's it. But right now, let's go ahead and hit play. I'm using the controller. You see here, I'm going to have to... Let's go ahead and create a new file. Then continue. Let's go ahead and skip this right here. There you go. Gonna load up a little bit there. So this game is really, really beautiful. Right now, let's go into right here. I'm gonna go ahead and try and play as much as I can here. I just wanted to share this video also with you guys because it's really, really beautiful. It's a like a very cool adventure platforming game. You play this girl. She has lots of hats. Right now, she only has one, but you can actually collect later on more hats. There you go. Let's get out of here. The colors are really freaking beautiful. So I got this game like uh, I would say like a couple weeks ago. Um, and I didn't, you know, I haven't been able to do a video for it. Let's go ahead and hit this. I haven't been able to do a video for it because um, I don't have a Windows PC, you know. But now that I can actually use the GeForce Now, you can actually play any Windows PC game on your Mac, which is awesome. And it runs really freaking beautiful. Let's go ahead and skip this cutscene right here. Go ahead and skip right there. Um, right here, I can go ahead and focus right there and see where I have to go. I have to go over there. There you go. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Flying boat? Now, if I want to, let me go ahead and see. If I want to go full screen, because most likely, of course, a lot of people are not going to like that. I could go ahead here to graphics, windowed, and full screen. Click right there, and there you go, full screen. There you go. For those that were complaining, there you have it, bro. No more borders. Now it's full screen. <laughs> So let's go ahead and skip this. I'm going to go ahead and skip this. Welcome to Maf Mafia Town. It looks gorgeous, I gotta say. Um, and honestly, I don't know why these developers didn't release this game for the, you know, Nintendo Switch. This would be a perfect game for the Nintendo Switch, please. Please, guys, release it there. Because it looks gorgeous. 
Look at that. <laughs> and I don't know if this game is actually available on PlayStation 4, is it? Anybody that knows can please leave it in the comments. I haven't checked. Hello, Mafia so, yeah. watch TV last night. Confusing <laughs> science I saw. Yeah. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. So right now we got to follow that girl, but right now I'm just going to go ahead and do a lot of crazy stuff here. What? Oh, look at that. There you go, a red vault cable, uh, code or card. Got these enemies. You can also interact with them. <laughs> there you go. Hey, dude. <laughs> so you see here, it's basically like an open world game that you can go ahead and mess around with a lot of people. Hey, girl, come over here. We're trying to get her. And it controls perfectly awesome with control with the dual shock. Go ahead, over here. Some hidden stuff here. No. I could go ahead and take a seat here if I want. I, would, I can enjoy the view, the gorgeous view. <laughs> Beautiful. Hey, dude. Who's this? Who's going to? Hi there, young one. I am from a far away land. I've seen every corner of the earth. You may call me the badge seller, for I sell and trade badges. Okay. Cool. So I can buy some stuff here if I want. Let me collect this. Yeah, I, I think I have. I don't have enough. That's cool. First time I interact with that guy. Hey girl. Hey you down there. <laughs> Don't think I didn't see you stalking me. Us kids should stick together, not Oh, by the way, did you have anything <laughs> to do with the junk falling from us? Tell you what. I'm just skipping so I can here, show you guys. Show you where some of your junk. Okay, all we gotta do is go up there. this platform over here but let's go ahead and keep um let's go ahead and keep um see what we find somewhere oh, there's something over here in the bottom there you go there you go we got a sprint yarn Alright, come on, girl. Alright, there's something over here. Let's go and keep on discovering this place. Looks pretty freaking awesome. Okay, this guy's sleeping or something like that. Oh, what's this? Oh, yeah. Look at that. We found something there. Oh, look at that. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, uh oh. No. There you go. I think we should go and look for the girl, right? Go ahead and look for the girl. Uh, let's go over here. Hey, dude. Sorry, dude. Hey, I think one of your junk pieces fell and smashed right into the market's fountain. Cool. I'm going over there. Just avoid making 
<laughs> okay, just avoid making eye contact. Uh, keep in mind, you will be able to um, get more, um, like more hats. Right now, she she has that hat right there, but you will be able to. Oh, look at this! <laughs> you will be able to discover like new hats, and every hat is gonna actually give you like special abilities. Go ahead. Whoa! Look at this. We can swim as well. Hey dude, what's up? Look at that. <laughs> oh, what the hell was that, bro? What was that for? <laughs> that was messed up. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Hey you. So one thing, she actually collects all those time things. She collect those. So you in the world you have to collect them. Um, every time you collect them, it's basically like, you know. Like completing a challenge or something like that. Hey, dude, come on. Give me it. There you go. <laughs> there you go, we got it. Let's get that. Get that. Come on. There you go. Woohoo! There you have it. Okay, so here we are back again. In our little base, and here we are. We unlock an area. Thanks to that, that's that was the, basically the first mission. And right here, we're gonna be able to go back here again and keep on playing some more missions there. Yeah, I can interact with other stuff right here. You can open the fridge. You see, that's pretty damn beautiful. This game. I really don't know the price yet for this game. I think it's around the twenty dollars. Um, honestly, it, it's it is a very gorgeous looking game. It is a very, very gorgeous looking game. So you got part one here, which you can still go back and look for stuff you, you missed. And you can go back to part two, act two, which is barrel battle. Okay, I think it's a different location or it might be a same location, but you know, different missions as well. But you can see here, it looks very similar, but you're going to do another mission. There you go. <laughs> So, yeah, guys, I think I'm going to end the video here. I just wanted to share this gameplay with you guys and let you know about uh, GeForce Now, which is an awesome feature if you have, if you're stuck with a MacBook, right, or a, a Mac computer, and you have a whole bunch of games, uh oh, you have, a, you have a whole bunch of games on Steam, and you want to find a way to play them, this is an awesome way to play them. And, uh oh, uh oh, I'm about to die here. I got two of those left. Let me get one of those hearts. There you go. Uh, this is an awesome way to play those games. Uh oh. So, and I said, like I said, this is the game is a, t a hat in time, something like that. I'm sorry about messing up the name of the title. But it's a gorgeous title and it's compatible with GamePad. So right here I'm using GamePad. And it works pretty damn awesome. So guys, thanks for watching the video. This was a look at GeForce Now on MacBook. And a look at the, this game as well, which is really awesome. It's already available to buy. So if you want to buy it, you can go ahead and buy it. It looks gorgeous. It looks gorgeous. And it's really, really fun. So thanks for watching, guys. Till next time.